Hi everyone, I'm Ji Yu Yang. We're here in Seoul Chill Hotel hosting the World Blockchain Summit Marvel Seoul 2019. I'm here with Andy Lian. Introduce yourself briefly. Sure. Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, Andy Lian. I'm, I'm a blockchain advisor to uh, a, few, uh, a few places. So one of them is uh, Asian Productivity Organization. Um, this is a UN-like organization that is based in uh, Japan. I look at how to increase uh, productivity and also uh, using blockchain to help uh, member countries. So we have access to 22 countries in, uh, in the region and uh, this is basically what I'm doing right now. Apart from that, I am also a uh, book author of uh, Blockchain Revolution 2030 and uh, I give uh, very strategic advice uh, to some of the companies that I've invested. Yeah. Um, the second, um, you are the author of Blockchain Revolution 2030, yeah, right? Yes, yes, I am. Please explain about your book. Well, okay, the Blockchain uh, Revolution 2030, this is a book uh, fully in Korean. Uh, it's published by uh, Kyobo, uh, one of the biggest um, uh, uh, um, uh, this, um, book uh, publisher in Korea. Yeah. And um, the book is a very future-looking um, a book where we talk about how blockchain is going to affect the future you know how blockchain is going to change part of our lives and how blockchain is going to make a key difference in our lives so we talk about very fu fundamental stuff like uh, the, the brief history of uh, blockchain and uh, most importantly I think when we talk about blockchain most of the time we look at how blockchain can be used so it can be used in a different scenarios so I, I personally believe in a uh, supply chain you know uh, how supply chain is going to uh, work in, in blockchain. Second thing would be, um, uh, of course, finance. And then the third thing would be medical. And the fourth, maybe i add on one more, would be uh, uh, games. So these are very um, straightforward uh, use case studies that are already happening in the world. And I see that it's going to make a lot of uh, changes to our lives, you know, um, uh, as, as we move on to a, a, a different era of, uh, of blockchain. And I hope that you are part of the Gyeongsang Bukdo Blockchain Special Committee. What are your main tasks for the committee? Okay, the, the main task for Gyeongsang Book is that we work very closely with the governor. So the governor wants to push the province into something uh, very future-like. And um, they are looking at tokenizing a lot of the um, activities and business that are within the whole province. So, so my role is to give him advice from uh, the blockchain perspective and how uh, the supply chain is going to work with the province. But as you know, you know, um, the, the, many things uh, need to take many different steps. So um, the governor will come back to us on some of the steps that he's going to take. And um, meanwhile, you know, we have to wait for his direction. Um, apart from uh, Kyung Sang Bok, uh, I, I do a lot of things for, for different government. So um, in Singapore as well, I am involved in a, a security-based digital asset token exchange. So it's a fully regu uh, reg maybe regulated exchange. Uh, we need to get the license from uh, MAS and so forth, which is our monetary uh, authority. So a lot of work are, are, are being done in the space uh, for blockchain and security, uh, security exchanges. So that is also part of what I'm doing and what I'm trying to push, because I think with uh, better regulations, uh, blockchain can actually move a lot further. Oh, okay, it's an amazing idea. Thank you for the good interview. No Thank, you, Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Thank you.